Okay, let's go again. Five minutes. Auto pairing. Uh, playing this system against the uh, B3 Nimzo Lawson. He doesn't take it on C6. Can I not go for a Greek gift almost? Ways to play that. Queen e5, and then knight d4, doesn't that win the bishop? So queen e5, g3, knight d4. Hmm. Interesting. <clears throat> so I don't even need a Greek gift, so I'm playing knight d4. Knight f3, queen b5. Knight three, actually queen b2 as well. It's silly. So, I don't know. Queen e5 looks like it's gone into a trap, actually. Some sort of weird opening trap, if this works. F4, I just take. I'm still threatening horrible stuff. Interesting. Wow. I didn't even know about this opening trap. Might be worth doing a video on it. <laughs> oh, dear, dear. He's got a loose piece on b5 potentially. That's the problem here. Hmm. Interesting. So, is this some ingenious defense? g3, knight takes d4. I do seem to be just winning a piece of knight takes d4 and queen b5. else f4 I take knight c6 I take here and I'm taking on g2 it's horrendous we're going to take this one uh, there's still knight d4 here attacking the rook there is queen f3 there's still knight d4 attacking the bishop I don't have to take on h2 it's been knight d4 on the other hand bishop d4 queen b5 bishop f6 starts to get a bit scary so is there anything better there? That's the one he's gone for. So queen h2 or knight d4? That's the question. Actually there's always queen e5 there in that position. So here he takes, takes, that's... All right, I'm gonna have to defend f7, I've got rook f8, I don't want to get mated from this position particularly. So rook f8, so now I've got queen e5 on the cards, hitting h2 on his queen. b6, bishop b7, try and castle, queen side, should be fun. Oh, knight e4 to f6. Okay, can I just do this to get an important tempo? And then d5, bishop e6, that's another way of playing it. Give him the h7 pawn. Don't mind about that. I just want to castle queen side on control f5. There's rook h8, and there's queen f7. Bishop e6, then rook h8. Yeah. Uh, scary would be d4 if he sacks that. King h1, what do I do? My king's in the center. I just take on c3. It's not scary. Take take on c3. So I just want to play bishop e6 and then castle queenside. Is he going to let me? Check. No, I just wanted the peaceful life castle in queenside. He's not letting me. Dear, oh dear. Oh, so it's getting b7 now. Play rook c8. Losing a lot of pawns that I didn't mean to. Didn't visualize this at all. Alright, go back for his uh, h2, I think. I have got a clock advantage. 
it's a bit slow. Yeah, I might turn the light on actually. Dark here. Uh. Mm. So Bishop D6. My king doesn't seem safe. He's got so many pawns. Well, I didn't expect a game from what we had earlier. Seems to have a game. Bishop e5. Mm. <clears throat> Gonna take on c3 just to simplify it. Doubles his pawns. Or queen e7, is that better? Oh. Simplify it, I'm not going to regret this. Maybe king d7 and rooks can use g8 and stuff. King d7, uh, he's going to try and then open up the centre. Okay, so rook g8, threatening, maybe bishop h3. Oh, queen g5 here could be a nuisance. So on g2, then maybe king d7 after. I'm getting some sort of attacking pressure, surely. Um, hmm, a queen g3. Try and keep the pressure to exchange off queens. Oh, finally. A bit safer after that. He's going to expose his uh, pawns a bit. I'll do this or not. I'm going to lose other pawns soon if I'm not careful. I'll just take that. Keep his pawn sliced. Try and coordinate my pieces for a change. Uh, I can get my rook to a3, I think. I don't want to expose my king too much. He's only got like 10 seconds here. That's not much to fight with. Oh, he's provisional. It was his sixth. Game. He's gone up just a few points. I've only got up for like three points. Uh, provisional. Okay. Hope you enjoyed it. Comments or questions on YouTube. Thanks very much.